back to Farming Simulator 2019, Episode 1 on Autumn Oaks, my farming tournament. So I decided to go ahead and make my own farming tournament here, um, just because there is so much drama in the other one and I had enough of it, so I left it. So we are on Autumn Oaks here, there's a whole bunch of teams going, we got, so I'll show you what's going on in teams here, we got Nick's team, we got Carson's, Rob's, um, GT Gamer, and the Police Farm. So that's who we have in here for teams right now. Uh, there's room for, what, two more or something like that? So we might maybe get a couple more people in here. We could make another team or two if we want to. We'll see how things go, you know. So let's run down here and uh, show you guys what we got. We're going to steal Riley's pickup truck. He won't mind. He's going to wash it up here quick. So we'll dodge ham, what Riley likes to call it. So if you guys are going to enjoy the video, smash that thumbs up button and let me know if you guys want a lot more. And I also do apologize, guys, about the one day how also all I did was a live stream. I do apologize that I haven't been posting really. It's my voice has been all messed up and I've been sick and I can't do nothing about it, right? So you guys can kind of feel it in my voice right now. I'm kind of a little weird, but it's whatever. So first up, we got our, uh, what is this, Kenworth W900 here. Yep. And we got the Wilson trailer on the back. Uh, the weeder. We got our weeder over here again. Like always. Um, I think this is kind of like a corn crib or something. A little different. Not sure what. But this is where a lot of lag is right here. So let's get out of here. Maybe. Yeah. So let's get out of there. Don't mess around in there. We got our auto bale trailer. Auto load bale trailer here. Got a nice silo. Um, over here I think is a skid steer. Yeah. Skid steer attachments over here. And just a little bench of gates and stuff that we can't open. It kind of sucks. But she's all good. So let's run over here grabbing her truck and go down a little bit farther. There's a whole whack of stuff here today to find out what we all got. The barn where we're going to store all our tractors. Kind of our barn area here. This door does open too. I'm not sure where Riley doesn't have it open. Anywho. But we also have our uh, skid steer. L or C232 uh, skid loader New Holland. We also have the straw blower that everyone likes to use. The... 12 row 30 inch row corner head but even though it's an 18 you know it's pretty goofy i hate it um we got our 6m we got an 8370r and the uh, corn head let's run down here we got our uh this is a different tractor and lime spreader that no one has seen before we have a 7820 and a john deere dn 345 spreader dry spreader um, we got our draper head in here, like always, you know, 30 or 45 foot, I almost said 35 foot, I don't know why, but I did. <clears throat> John Deere 568 round baler, uh, coon round baler, or square baler, there. uh, the big tatter, um, let's run over here. We also have the 9870 STS series combine, uh, Fenton loading wagon, the biggest wheel rake. And a Kenzie 1051 green cart. And a T9 New Holland tractor. So, first off, we're going to hop in the 70... Oh, I forgot about the equipment over here. My bad. We got two PJs. The big Tex trailer up here. Rubber band in here a little. It's being a little weird. Stop here for a minute. There we go. <clears throat> the big Tex and the PJ. Uh, we also have the big bale spike that we use for the three bales high. And the Jodier bucket. The case drill 40 footer here. Um, this is at um, by MB Farms. Um, I don't know if the shed doors will open and close on this shed. It doesn't look like it. But we got the uh, mowers. We got the Great Plains uh, corn planter. Uh, the Selford. Uh, the Lempkin, uh, this is our plow. It goes really fast, so it's modded and everything. It works pretty good. That's why we got it here for. I think that's about it. So look, now we can actually jump in this tractor. 78 20. She's a minty bugger. So, let's run out to a field. Wow, you're missing a bolt there. It looks like I can see right through my cab. That's kind of cool. Not really. Alright, uh, this is kind of my favorite tractor right now because it's Old. It's like the 8430 if you guys watch my real life farm video. Um, I just like it how it's so older. It's the old early 2000 series style. So let's just go out here. Uh, Riley should be around here somewhere with the sprayer. So we're going to go out here and 
find a field. Out to the front of the farm. I've never been out here, really. Either of you guys yet, either, so. So, let's run over there. Um, let me know how everything is sitting for volume and whatnot. Hopefully, I got everything good and... Someone must be buying stuff on the server, because every time you guys can see me kind of lagging, everyone is just buying stuff. We literally just finished setting up everything up, like, not long ago, like 15 minutes ago, and then we were just messing around. But, um, yeah, everyone's still buying stuff, Rob, and everyone else is still buying stuff. It's all cool. Oh, I'm not sure what field we're going to start on. Probably the scoring field. Get it done. Rowler is spreading liquid fertilizer, the other fields, with the case. We also do have a case, two... 30? 250 might be. I don't know. Let's turn that. 250? Manti. And the coon sprout pull type spreader. Alrighty. Swarm this bad boy up. So the nice thing about this spreader is we'll be able to get this done pretty quick. Um, there is crop damage on, so we are going to lose a little bit. But it's not going to matter too much just because everyone... Basically just got like this, so everyone's going to have marks and whatnot, because there's no way to get ahead of the game, right? Because we just got everything set up. Not long ago, we just decided that we're going to this map. Save game got, or not save game, but there's too much drama and stuff over there. Plus, we were kind of running our own little tournament thing too, but even though the save game did get corrupted, that's why we're switching to Autumn Oaks. So we're pulling a little hard up the hill here. Six mile an hour. Riley's like, oh no, you better get a bigger tractor on there, Nick. I was like, no, I'm running my tractor for the day. So he's like, okay, have fun. But she seems to be working pretty darn quick and good. But the nice thing is we can go like 32 mile an hour, like spread and line. So we can just blow this stuff on as fast as we want. Kind of just like high speed lime spreading here. I would usually go slower, but we're in kind of a rush to get everything done and... I want to get all of our lime on here tonight and get Arvis in here later tonight. So, yeah, I should be able to get back to posting daily here, hopefully, uh, next week or this week starting Friday. My exam starts, so I should be able to record and everything. It's just I only go to school for three quarters of a day, and then I'm home, right? So it's going to be kind of fun. So let's see how things go. Second year doing exams. They're not too hard or bad, so can't be that hard, you know. Just sit there, write your exam out and leave. It's basically how it is. You basically gotta stay for an hour. I've said this probably multiple times, you know. But we're all good. Let's just drive out here. Alrighty, let's turn around actually and go back in. That way we're not gonna pack more corn down and get rid of it than what we are doing. So we'll try and go in the same marks even though that's gonna kinda fail. here should work. Let her chooch. Or let her rip. My bad. You know. So there's going to be a one spot there that we did miss. That's alright. Should be able to get her come back down. A little wide up in here. A couple little rows in here. There's Ryder giving her. So. Probably not a good idea that he's going to be spreading right behind me on the fertilizer in line. But I'd rather be planting this. I'd rather be uh working the lime into the plowing, but we're going to have to plow everything here at the end. So we will spread the lime here again probably and or fertilizer and then plow it in. And then that's what we do in real life, right? So you plow all your nutrients into the ground and then put another layer on it after you get it worked nice and then do it again. So I'm not too sure why we're driving so small, but you know, it's all good. Probably just kind of keep going around and around here. But we could just kind of go on an angle. No? Let's just go like this. So this way it's planted this way. You will still see those uh, marks when we uh, do harvest this field. I will probably notice that much. I think I did recognize that when you do plant it and everything. So those marks will be here for a while. That's okay. We're making another pass. It's all right. We're giving her down again. Just keep going up and down. Lime's pretty easy. And it looks like we're going to need another load of lime here. So we're basically going to be probably getting a field of lime. A field of load. So. We 
got those refill tanks at the farm, so it's all good. You know, it's probably the easiest way than buying a whole bunch of random seed boxes and all that stuff. Because those things are kind of a pain. Rather, do you even like the seed bags here in 19? Um, I wish they would bring the real big... I wish they... I was kind of hoping for the real American seed ones, but I see that didn't happen. So let's go out to this headland and we'll follow this headland back around. Hopefully. Hopefully this corn doesn't get destroyed too bad. Um, our gateway should be just up here. Let's just cut through here. Let's go get some more lime, boys. So this is kind of a fun process. I've always, I always like spreading lime, and I wish the fertilizer did lay out how the, um, how the fertilizer and the lime. I wish they both did kind of spread out like that. Um, collision there, I guess. But this farm is by MB Farms again. He did convert this and add this farmyard in compared to the other ones. Took one out, added one in, and basically, you know, it looks pretty good. I'm kind of happy with it. I think I like this map more than I did in 17. And I think a lot of people will probably agree with me on that. So let's let this bad boy feel it up. Take a few minutes. What else is around in this tractor? So it's pretty basic like the 8430. If you guys have went and watched my farm tour video. You guys will know that this is pretty the same cab. The early 2000 tractor. I do like it. The only thing I wish I could drop this. Hook guard or front hook all the stuff on the front so there'll probably be like an edited version come out eventually here probably watch your fill up not much to it what everyone else is doing oh it looks like Rob and Gamer are spreading lime together or are they just driving around like what are they doing they're plowing everything wow well I might maybe go help him make some money later it looks like he's actually plowing his oats up. There's no way they're ready to harvest. No. They're still growing. Their final stage of growing, and then they're just... Whatever. So, let's run back to that field we were in, get the other fields. Like, there's a lot of fields up in over here to spread lime, and... That's basically all I'm going to be doing for the next hour or two, probably. Just getting the lime on. Because we want to get the lime, the three stages of fertilizer on, and we want to get this stuff to yield the best we can to get the more profit. The bad thing is about this map is there's no missions, so I might talk to the creator and see if he can get it set up for missions, maybe. So maybe I should DM him or email him here later and ask him about it. Ooh, tree right there. Up over here. Kind of just sneak in here. Where do we come up? There we go. Should be a spot right in here we'll have to do. Right about here. There we go. Get the lime all on. Looks like Ryler's probably going back for another load. Headlands are going to get a bit more uh, lime than what everything else is, but hey, that's all right. So these videos are probably going to be about 15 to 20 minutes here just because my voice is slowly getting back and I don't want to stretch it out enough that I have to because I want to be able to keep making videos for you guys. So that way you guys got a video every single day along with tire bugs. So I know there's a lot of people that uh, like watching mine and enjoying what I do. So I'm going to try and do it for you guys. There'll be also some real life farming coming up here in a couple months maybe. Let's pull out of here. Rylar come in and get her done. Hopefully, rather don't, you know, wreck the crop more than what it is. <clears throat> now the corn field there. We'll do the wheat field. Wheat fields won't uh, won't uh, track it down. So let's just go here on an angle. Probably the easiest. Uh, probably not, but she'll work. 
But who doesn't like spreading lime on us? Monday morning. Or Monday night. My bad. I forgot this goes up at 5 o'clock. My time here. 4 or 5 o'clock, whatever. She's all good. Do you guys mostly spread lime and fertilizer? Or you buy it yourselves if you guys are farmers with a full type spreader? Or do you mostly get the co-op to come and blow it on with the interrogator? That's what we do. It's quicker and more efficient for us and quick and uh that way we can keep rolling. We don't have to have someone keep constantly running fertilizer and then we have to wait because you can only hold so much, right? And then you'd run out. And then the fertilizer and then the tear gator and all that stuff would run out of fertilizer or break down. You know, and that gets kind of rough. I don't know what Riley's doing here. Must be just driving around. Like what he always does pretty good. He's probably going to go put narrow tires on it so it don't uh, wreck the heck out of that corner any more than it is. Because the more traction it goes through, the worse it gets. Um, it's probably easier basically to just go through once with the this and then put narrow tires on the case and then we don't wreck the crop anymore. <laughs> just check and make sure Riley's on the same page, you know. So we the teams are and everything are all the, still the same from last tournament, if you guys are curious on my tournament of Honeydew. Let's run up here, and we'll uh, keep her moving. Probably go around this guy twice, or just once here, and then zip back and forth again. Holy smokes, I'll be spreading lime all night, it looks like it. But, hey, I don't mind spreading lime. It's kind of fun. But I do, I'd rather, this spreader is a lot better than one of those in-game ones, so. I am kind of happy that we have it, honestly. Just keep running around. Nice, good size of wheat field here. So we do own a couple bit. I should show you guys here on the map here in a minute when we get when we get empty here again. So this is what we own. So this is what we own down in here. I, I can't remember if I showed you guys or not, but we own all this. So there's a field here, field here, and the farms in here. So then we got these three yet to do. And I still got that one. So we got this one, this one, this one, and that one. The one way up by the shop. So we can watch everyone buy everything. That's kind of always fun. I like. Um, yeah. And here's Rob's the red. Rob has the red. And Carson here, or GT Gamer, has yellow here. I forgot. Rob has kind of all over the place. Kind of different. And then Carson down here is all green. And some reason we own, we own this forestry area back here. So maybe we can go logging on it. I don't want to buy it. Or sell it. My bad. Let's do another round or two here. Drop her in. Away we go. Not too much to it. This tractor does have a weird hitch and I kind of hate it. Compared to the 8Rs and everything. The nice thing is you can give her a going. So this was, I, I wish there was missions on this map because we'd be just going around and nailing the missions off pretty quick with this spreader. The spreader does cost, cost 100k, but it's worth it. It holds a lot more and uh, it's more efficient and realistic too. Yeah, let me guys know what you think of this, uh, whatever thing's going on here. Let me know what you guys think about it and we'll see if you guys want more of it. And we'll... Uh, Carry on, you know. We missing anything? No. All right, good. Ah, uh, we're gonna run out of lime here again. We are not gonna finish this field. Yeah, I didn't even worth turning it back on there. Um, can we just run through our grass pasture field here? Hopefully. We do get to mow this eventually here, I think. So we'll run out around the side just in case, take the compaction off the grass. There's a nice gateway up here we're going to go through. Nice European mirrors on it, looks like it. Wide turn. In we go.
Carson's buying stuff, I know it. Because Carson's up at the shop, right? So, that's what he's doing. Alrighty guys, I think this is probably just going to be the end of the video because my voice is starting to get tired here again. It's starting to hurt, so I'm probably not going to record for another couple hours because I'm recording just about every other hour here on uh, Farm Sim here on Sunday, so I'll carry on with it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.